Ah, we're finally back on a brand new video. After playing Modern Warfare 3 for about a week straight, losing my marbles because of skill-based matchmaking or grinding my ass off and zombies, we are finally back. What's going on, guys? My name's Jonathan, and welcome to some more Modern Warfare 3 zombies. <laughs> Alrighty then. And for today's video, we are going for the Berserkin Scale Mastery Camo. So currently right now, I just need to go for two more ARs, and I'll be done with all the ARs for zombies. Then I can start working on the multiplier, which will be on a new video. So currently right now, all I have to get is the DG58 and the FR5.56, and that's it. Because right now, I've got no upgrades for pack a punch so it's going to take a little bit longer to properly get the pack a punch and all of that. Oh my god. Oh, hang on, never mind. I've got an idea. <laughs> Only one. But besides that, everyone one, make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 700 subscribers at the moment which I'm trying to get by the end of the year so if you guys haven't subscribed already please do so but besides that let's get into a match and let's have some fun ah boy here we go I've been seeing a lot of people have been complaining about with zombies on how you can't play it when you're a solo player I mean matches I've been playing by myself lately like sure I still play with like with my brother or my friend but it's like not that bad when you play solo but honestly why do we not have an offline mode like come on oh my god it's so much more better when you get these things that your teeth oh my god i find it quite annoying how it takes forever to even load into the match because you gotta sit here and watch all these cutscenes over and over again i just played the game <laughs> oh yeah thanks green all right Okay, let's use the raw Amphirium Crystal. I think I stuffed that up. So I do know a lot of you are going to be asking me, Hey, Jonathan, are you enjoying the zombies? Yes, I actually am. Because I'm actually quite surprised because I thought I wasn't going to enjoy this game mode because it was the whole, like, DMZ with zombies and I didn't really like DMZ on Modern Warfare 2. And because of the whole multiplayer problem with the whole skill-based match making, which countless videos have been talking about, which I might do a video on, I'm not too sure at the moment. And because of that problem that I've been having, I have not been enjoying multiplayer as much. Even I almost got the forge camo on multiplayer. It's so frustrating, man. I will work on a multiplayer video later on the track just right now as I try and get these ARs done. Then I can work on the multiplayer video. But with the zombies, when I don't look at the like whole missions and all of that, but with, like with the whole missions and all that, I don't mind it. It was actually quite easy to unlock the camos because of the whole, like, x field farming glitch and all of that. It wasn't really a glitch, it was just an export in the game. And now they've patched that after reading after the, all the zombie stuff that they've done. And they sort of nerfed it to have less zombies. But I've also found out, when it gets closer to the time that you have to x field, you go to tier 2, then you'll be fine. Like, you can still go for the camos, but it won't be as intense. Because for me doing that, it just made my life two times easier. Oh, there's an orb right there. But looking at the zombie camos as well, I'm just like, is that it? Like, they just made everything so much more easier this year. I mean, if you're just playing multiplayer strictly, you're gonna sit there for hours just trying to level up your guns, man. Compared to zombies, I mean, you can get a whole weapon done in the first, like, first game if you wanted to. Just pop a token for double weapon XP and done. Boom. <laughs> But at least for my surprise, I am enjoying the zombies more than the multiplayer. This might happen again like what Cold War did, because on the Cold War, I played more zombies than multiplayer. And I hope it doesn't happen again. But I really do feel like I'm going to go for the mastery camp first on zombies than the multiplayer. Because if I can go for everything, like, really fast on the zombies with the whole leveling up and all the camos, then it wouldn't be an issue to go into multiplayer. Like, oh, this is bloody easy, no problem. Like, I don't mind the whole tier zones on, like, tier 1, 2, and 3. Even though number 3 I haven't gone into yet, because I'm too busy going for the camos and the leveling up the weapons. I'm, I'm still doing the missions because I've already done the whole act one, which was very easy to go for. And right now I just need to do that whole reaper thing. So it's honestly not hard. Sorry for me yabbling on, but what all of you? Are you using join zombies right now? Are you playing multiplayer or are you even playing the campaign? I don't know why you want to play that. If so, let me know in the comments. I also did want to apologize for not posting any new videos well, for almost a week now because it's been quite hard to play and grind the game and also working at the same time. That is just causing problems on my schedule because most of the time I'm doing 5 to 1, which is like 5 a.m. to 1 p.m. I get home, try and play as much Koji as I can, then trying to record videos. It's like, oh my god, man. So I apologize for not posting any videos for a bit, but don't worry, we've got this video and a multiplayer video coming, so we're okay. I like how they fall on patch the X-Field site now because you can't even get more zombies. I find stupid though. I still get quite annoyed about the whole timer on the top left because most of the time that you want to try and get as much done as possible, but how the hell can you get most things done when you spend so much time doing this and that, and all of a sudden when you get everything upgraded and have all your perks, you have to go and bloody X-Field. I think it gets easier over time once you get all like proper upgrades and all of that, but most of the time it's like, that's a full and grind fest to do. That's a mango. <laughs> 
understand how on earth some people already got the mastery camos for bloody multiplayer already. I think some people almost got zombies as well, and I'm just like, I haven't even got the bloody ARs even properly done yet. All the zombies are just leaving me because got the enemies on my right side. <laughs> it's like, all right, see you later. The other problem that I'm also rolling about with zombies, if this mode gets really popular, which I know it will, then it will just make Activision go, oh, we don't need round base anymore. I would still take round base over what we have right now, any day. Because when I was talking to my friend the other day, because we were talking about how it's taken us longer to go for camos for like multiplayer and zombies, Modern Warfare 2 was faster. It was mainly because when we played Modern Warfare 2, there was only the multiplayer that we properly played because I mean, it didn't have zombies. But now, Modern Warfare 3, we've got zombies. So if you get sick and tired of playing the multiplayer, which a lot of people are complaining about, then just go and play zombies. I mean, why not? Because honestly, if, if this game didn't have the zombies, I don't know if I would even be playing the multiplayer properly, man. But play multiplayer with the amount of issues that they have on it, like, my God. Even on the most classic maps, it's still hard to find players because most of them kept in the back of the map. <laughs> Oh god, oh no, oh no! Get off my ass! Really? Bro, it's like a whole gamble, man. You do all this and you expect something good and they just give you that and it's like, <laughs> okay, thanks. Well, at least I know I can just sit back and relax and actually have fun playing the zombies. I mean, right now, you might not even know I'm down playing on the floor. You might not know if I'm playing laying in my bed right now. You would never know. <laughs> but I just find it funny how much bloody Call of Duty gets roasted online, especially when they post that like whole thing, leaning forward starter pack or whatever it was. And everyone's like, yeah, when Skip Ice Backpacking kicks in, well, looks like that person got fisted. Did. <laughs> I do wish I had a bloody tracker of how many kills you've gotten in the game because most of the time I go, how many kills have I gotten? Especially when you're trying to go for gold for certain weapons in the game because it's so bloody <laughs> I mean, the amount of times that I try to do the bloody camo challenges and it just does not work was making me lose my marbles, man. Like, finding different ways to properly unlock it, which I finally found a way to do it. Like, put no attachments on, then you get to unequip, equip, unequip your weapon. But at least Snake Chamber is actually acknowledging it and actually communicating with the community. More than a fairy ward. And if Andy Ward wonders why they get dicked on so badly. I've also been looking lately to buy a new mic stand because the one I've got right now, it works, but the problem is, the way that my setup is, it blocks the monitors. So I'm gonna look at the one, like the Elgato armor, whatever it is, the one that actually like slides out properly. Cause I know the Black Friday sale's coming around the corner, so I'm gonna have a look at one of those, just to make it easier for me. And I've also been looking at maybe streaming by the end of the year. I might go back into the whole streaming scene again. Cause I know I say to myself countless times that I'm gonna get back into it, and I don't do it at all. It's mainly because of connection problems as well well because of the whole internet issue that I've had. It's just technology issues that I always have all the time. So I'm going to look into buying a full one wide connection to my room and connect it up to everything that I have. Make it easier for me to have more of the best connection possible instead of everything wireless. But hey, something might happen. I'll have a look down the track. But hey, if you guys want to see that, let me know. Oh my god, is that a job? I mean, I'll be happy to go back and do more streaming if you guys really want to see that. Just currently at the moment, I've been trying to get all my teeth and that fixed up because it's been quite hard to talk lately. So right now, I'm supposed to be wearing my actual aligner but at the moment I'm not because I'm recording a video. <laughs> but once I get that all sorted out, I think it'll be much more easier for me to start talking because it's full on pushing my teeth in and it's such a pain in the ass. Oh, another person got fisted. But honestly, this year has actually been really good for me, man. Like I don't have any issues with work, like nothing bad's going on anymore. Like I'm just enjoying life, man. I finally started to upload videos again on my channel. Like honestly, I really do appreciate every single one of you for the love and support lately. Like thank you all so much because it's really motivating me to keep going with the videos. Any of you guys don't even comment as well. At least you guys can still watch my content. If I'm still passionate about it, I'll still keep making it. Because I don't always look at the views. I don't give a two dams about the views. Oh, we got it. So anyway, it's like, I don't really care about the views. God, no. Views are like a curse, man. Like, people only look at the views and they get completely screwed over by them. The best thing I do is that just upload the videos that you want to do. There's no stress on it. I can just do videos that I want to make, upload onto my channel, even if it's different games that most people don't even know about. At least I'm not, like, stressed out of, like, saying to myself, I need to upload videos. Come on, I need to upload all the time. Because if I worn myself out on videos, then I'm not going to be motivated to keep going. But for the last time, thank you all so much. Okay, let's try and go to the X Field site and let's see if it's gonna work out. Not that one. Oh, he's off. Finger basher. <laughs> I mean, the X Fields, like, I know they nerfed it, but at least you still have, like, zombies like this. It's not as hectic now. It does suck, but at least you can still go for, like, zombies like this, man. Like, come on.
Like, the two things that I wish they could have done for zombies, instead of, like, the 45 minutes that you have to exfil, why did not make it harder and harder until you have to exfil at the last, like, little circle? Because right now, you see how it's got tier 3. What happens if that expanded until the tier 1? Like, if they did that, that actually would make more sense. So you can keep playing the game, but it would just get harder and harder to play. That's what they could do. And now, with the exfil site, why don't make it harder in each tier zone? Go to tier 1, there's less zombies. You go to tier 2, there's more zombies. Then you go to tier 3 exfil, and there's a countless crap of zombies. Won't be as easy because you got to do the whole hacker punching and upgrading and all of that. It'll take longer. So I don't understand why they always have to get rid of something that is in the game in the first place. But because of everyone abusing it and doing the whole sentry gun glitch as well, which is crashing the servers, I don't blame them at all. Now let's try and get this done before the timer ends. Oh, there we go. We got it. Now let's go home. Yeah, successful x So we unlocked the Zerkin scale for this and for this. So now all the ARs are done for zombies. Thank God. Now we can see what it looks like in multiplayer. I'll be right back. Huh, that actually doesn't look that bad at all. Wow. I mean, I like the design of it around the red, but it's like, oh, like it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's, eh. But hey, gold looks two times better than this, I swear. <laughs> well, everyone, that is going to be the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. But hey, do not worry. We've got a multiplayer video along the way to unlock the platinum camo or the force camo whatever it's called so if you guys want to see that make sure you look at that video very soon after this video is up online besides everyone my name's jonathan i hope you guys have a wonderful day and night take care of yourself and i'll see you guys in my next video